Hello everyone, this is Lomi and today I'm just sharing a quick doll vlog to show what I've been doing for Rune's customization project. I stalled out for a while because I couldn't find the materials I needed, or the materials I got didn't work for what I was doing. Unfortunately, I haven't had much time to work on this since I've been wrapping up writing another novel and getting it ready for some query events happening this month. I've made a bit of progress, like getting one piece of his armor done. I'm finishing it here, adding a couple studs for accents and punching the holes in the straps. I'll be sharing some tips for working with vinyl soon, as well as how I created the pattern for this piece, but today I'll share how I'm making the pattern for his spats. Since his feet are a really strange shape, it's hard to work from measurements alone, so I'll make a pattern by covering his feet and legs with a paper towel and wrapping them with masking tape. This is a popular method for creating patterns, and it works great if you don't have a lot of experience with pattern drafting. Once the doll or whatever part you're working with is completely covered, you can draw lines where you want the seams to go. When you cut out these pieces, they'll give you a pattern that's perfectly tailored to your doll. Just add seam allowances. Once I figure out where I want all my seams to go, I slide a piece of cardstock between the doll and the paper and tape. This lets me cut the pattern free without worrying about scratching or damaging my doll or his clothing. I like to use embroidery scissors to cut the pattern off because they give me more control over where the blades are going. Once I have it off, I'll use my regular scissors to cut the pattern apart. I cut some darts in the heel so it lays flat. These are some really strange pieces, so I'll need to practice a few times to get the hang of it before I put the final spats together. Once all the pieces are cut apart, I copy all the pieces onto tracing paper. I'll transfer this to muslin and add a seam allowance to create the final pattern. This is how all the pieces look in the end. Odd and kind of complicated, too. When I cut out the pattern muslin, I baste a few pieces together and then pin it onto Rune's foot to see where I need to make adjustments. It fits pretty well on the whole, but there's some gapping around the claws that I'll need to fix before I move on. That will be easy, just a matter of taking in the pattern around the toes. Gaps like this can happen easily wherever the paper towel beneath the tape gets wadded up. The slit in the side is deep enough to let the foot slide through though, and it looks like the shape won't hinder movement or posing, which is perfect for what I need. He's still headless while I wait for the weather to be dry enough for face-ups, but I'll go ahead and put his pauldrons on, just so he'll be one step closer to finished. That's it for today though, just a small update, but with the weather beginning to cool off I should be able to get back to painting and finally wrap up this project. Thanks for joining me again, bye!